the SFX are a bit overdone, but you get my point. Most cameras come with a single thread on the bottom and when you attach a cage to that single thread, with time, because you're using the camera, microscopic movements will move the cage around and in time will loosen up that single thread on the bottom. That will end up making the cage loose and wiggle and you'll have to reinforce it. That is a very known problem and some cameras have two threads on the bottom which help alleviate the problem because they hold up the cage itself and microscopic movements don't really move it. But we're here to talk about the Canon 50. And I'm using the Easy Hood cage which I highly recommend because it's 20 bucks cheaper than the small rig and offers basically the same functionality. So if you haven't watched the review yet, it's up here, you're more than welcome. But today I'll be focusing on the Easy Hood cage because it has a problem that the smaller cage has as well, from the pictures they look basically identical. And that problem is that both cages are designed for two cameras. Two different camera bodies, the Canon M5 and the Canon M50, a single cage. I don't have the Canon M5 here for comparison, but these are slightly different bodies and when you design a cage for two different bodies, it's a recipe for disaster, right? So apart from the single thread on the bottom, you also have big gaps in the cage itself when you attach it to the Canon 50. The bottom is pretty flush, but the grip itself, when you grab it, you can actually squeeze it. And again, microscopic movements, squeezing the camera, if you're gonna be using it a lot, it will loosen with time. I won't be doing any special fixes to the cage itself, you don't need any drill or any machines. All I'll be using is scissors, some tape and foam to reinforce that small grip and hope that it will hold the cage for much longer. So, let's see how we do it. Remove the cage from the camera itself. That also means any plates or accessories, just so it will be easier to handle later on. Also, I suggest removing any lens, especially if it's a big one like here, because <laughs> I really had trouble removing the cage and I had to attach a smaller lens, so you can do that as well, or simply don't attach any lens, just attach the cover itself. The cage itself has a lot of gaps, but we're gonna focus on the side grip because it would give us a huge surface area that touches our camera and anchors it in place. You'll need scissors, some double-sided tape, and foam. I found foam in some packaging laying around, so you can search around the house, and if you don't have any foam at all, I've put some links down below. It can be the cheapest foam ever, just something soft. And it has to be soft and not something like cardboard or anything hard because it will sit between the cage and the camera itself and we wouldn't want to damage the camera itself. And because it's soft, we're able to squeeze it and it will successfully take the space between the cage itself and the camera without us having to measure how many space we, we need exactly. I'm not being precise about it and you don't have to be either. Just make sure that the piece of foam fits inside the grip and doesn't budge out. Specifically for aesthetic reasons, make sure that the double-sided tape also matches the foam itself because we need to glue it inside. And for aesthetic reasons, again, I'm cutting the double-sided tape in half just so it won't stick from the side. We need our Canon M50 to look good in that cage, remember. Then just glue it to the piece of foam. Take 100 years to remove that sticker. And place the foam inside the cage. The double-sided tape itself doesn't have to be hard as well, because the pressure from the camera against the cage will hold it up in place. And again, just for aesthetic reasons, you can cut the loose ends Remember, our Canon 50 needs to look great. And make sure it sits flush. You also have another single contact point which can be the top of the cage. If you put a foam between the cage and the camera because they don't even touch. And you'll do it the same way, just eyeball everything. Cut the foam into size, place some double-sided tape and eyeball it some more so the double-sided tape won't stick out. We need our cage to be beautiful. And the placement of this foam is a bit odd. 
that's why I chose not to put it in the end because I thought that the side grip is enough so you can opt out of this stage but you're more than welcome to do it if it feels safe to you in my opinion the side grip is enough and after we're done place the camera back in the cage and tighten everything when you put it back because we put a piece of foam make sure that the camera sits well in the cage and you can do it by checking out if the battery door opens up. In my case it didn't, so I had to move the cage just a bit. So play with it a bit until it sits flush. Then again I'm checking the battery door and it opens up. Awesome. After the fix we can see that the cage barely squeezes. The foam acts as a barrier between the cage and the camera itself. Hopefully the additional contact point will make the cage much more flush to the Canon 50 and the next time I'll have to reinforce it will be a while from now. Of course, I'll keep you updated. I've been using this fix for a while and it holds up pretty well, the cage didn't wobble yet. But you know what they say, with time, everything wobbles. Cages, cages wobble with time. In any case, I've been Tim and had a ton of fun making this video, so make sure you press that like button so more people out there with Canon 50s and cages will see that all they need to fix that wobble is some double sided tape, a piece of foam and scissors. And make sure to press that subscribe button down below to join the Elusive Frame community where we love short films, filmmaking, photography and of course solving all of our problems with some double sided tape and scissors. Don't forget to press the notification bell because I'm releasing a video once every two weeks. You can see in here what YouTube recommends to see on the next video and I'll see you in the next one. Go out there and fix your wobbly Canon M15 in that cage, come on man, you don't need a whole lot for that. I'll see you in the next one.